Hello, hello. I am so excited. I'm at Bargains and Blessings, which is one of my favorite thrift stores, and I haven't been in over a year. So I was down this way, and I'm going to meet Marsha here, Red Cardinal Treasures. This might be a two-part video because they actually have two buildings. So let's go see what we can find. So they are putting in a parking garage, and you have to park, like, forever away. But we're going to go. So, in the parking lot here, before you go into the store, they always have dollar racks. And most of the clothes are not at this building anymore, but they do still have the dollar racks here. And I'm a sucker for dollar racks, if you know me. So, this is a Penn State t-shirt. And then here is a Cuba Vera, Havana. Um, a dollar into... 10 15 20 dollars is a really good return on your money it's also really easy to ship clothes so if you can find clothes cheap i recommend looking i don't know what i'm with ladybug means so we didn't get that one that uh nike golf was personalized so i decided not to sometimes i will pick those up but that one and i decided to pass but check out this in and out burger this one looks like it is in fairly good condition and for a dollar I think we will get it and then here's also an Alaska the last frontier I do well with souvenir type shirts especially for a dollar I'm going to pick it up and yeah let's see what else we can see out here we'll check out on the table so they do have a few things here outside of the store and I see some briefcases down here. What I'm typically looking for is going to be to me bags. I have unfortunately never found one in the wild, but you know, I keep hoping to see if I can find one. Not today. Now there is another rack here and I believe this is a dollar rack as well. Mostly kids stuff, but look at this on the dollar rack is a Patagonia. This is a great way to start the day. I'm going to pop up here. This one is not mine, but this is one that has already sold. And I believe they sold it low. I think this is actually going to be worth more like $45. But I know that they sell because this one has already sold. So watch for Patagonia, even if it's kids. And we're going to go inside here. I think we're going to go grab a buggy, which they're up at the front. And that way we'll have more room. All right, we have got our buggy. This that weird pottery looked kind of like heart valves to me. This one's cool, but I don't see a price on it. And I'm normally pretty leery if I don't see a price because I'm scared they will tell me way too much and I don't want to carry it around and then it's more than I want to pay. Now down here, something you should always watch out for is Scentsy, but this one doesn't have the top little insert to melt the wax. So I think I'm going to leave it since it's basically not a complete product, but keep an eye out for those. Look at how pretty. This is only $2. And then I'm thinking, oh, I don't want to ship that. So we'll, we'll leave it. Now here, you will notice their lovely color coordinating. This is a really cool kind of pottery one. I think it was made in China, though, and it's a newer one. So we will leave that. Now we'll look at the green stuff. This one's pretty cool. Um, I feel like, though, it's probably more modern. It didn't feel like it was very well made. Yellows. I, I really love all this color coordinating. Now this is a resin piece. It actually had a lot of bubbles in it. So that one I don't think is worth much. I don't know what this is. Tell me if I should have got that thing. Now I love this pressed flower stained glass box. But it's $8. And I think it's probably only worth about $15 to $20. So we're going to leave that one there. We'll see if we see anything else. And I was going down here and I noticed it's a dead end. So we're going to see if we can squeeze through here. Oh, and we made it. Look at all that false graph. 
All right. This is a really cute stained glass bear, but look at the chip. If it didn't have the chip, I would have picked it up. But with the chip, I think I'm going to leave it there, even though that really is still a good price for it, even with the chip. This one, I'm kind of on the fence. This is another one. Tell me if you think I should have got it. I, I did decide to put it back, but that one I was kind of on the fence about. You can see I'm slow putting it back down. And let's see what else we see. Oh, look, we found Marsha. Marsha's got her GoPro on too. She, again, is Red Cardinal Treasures. She helps me moderate my Nurse Flipper channel and my whatnot shows. Now, this Pacific rim plate is probably worth about 15 to 20, but for $4, not worth it. If it had been $2, I probably would have picked that up. However, for $4, there's not really much room for profit. Now, in the cases, they actually had some really, really nice purses. They were priced up. I feel like there might have been room for profit, but I'm not that great with purses. So, we're going to look in here at the jewelry. This is a really cute paper mache little trinket box. I like that for 2 bucks. so we're going to grab that one and not much is catching my eye here now this is a steve madden looks like it was 10 at tj maxx with the retail of 28 oh, it was five i was i was debating because i mean you could leave the 28 dollar price tag on it and maybe get 20 that one i i decided to put it back but i think that might have been an okay pickup and we'll see more really nice purses up tops of Kate Spade. But again, I don't know them well enough. And the bad thing is with them behind the glass, you can't take a photo for Google Lens. Now, $25 for this whole set. This is a beautiful, you can see it's actually on Redware. It's hand painted. I'm looking for a name. I don't see one. But this is beautiful, beautiful pottery. So it is almost 25 pieces. It is 24 pieces for $25. So I, I think we're gonna have to get it. We're gonna we're gonna put it in the buggy. I think I saw the name on one. Uh, it was kind of torn off, but I will figure it out. And then look up here. This is, I'm not sure if it's cast iron or just metal, but how cute is this seahorse candle holder for only $3? And I laid this down before thinking, and then I'm like, whoa. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to take the little glass cups out of there. <laughs> now we are at the throw pillows. This one's four, but look at this gorgeous embroidery, big old rose. I think I could probably get... 22 to 25 and that one was down filled that was the big thing with that one it is definitely a higher quality pillow so down filled typically is going to mean something is a little more valuable you get the little gingham pillow i like that but i'm going to leave it there and then over here on top if you know me i'm a very beachy type person Look at these cute little throw pillows. They're $3 for both. I think I could probably get $25 for the set of two. Really, really cute. Will be easy to keyword even without a brand. And I always check the comforters and the blankets, but nothing is overly catching my eye here on this side. And you got to peek in the candle holders all the time. It is, as in most thrift stores, it is very tight in here. And let's see what we see. Look at this really, really cool sweater. So this one is an XXL Blizzard Bay with the alligator. Very, very cool piece. And Blizzard Bay actually has over 100% sell through. And look at this. That exact sweater sold for $45 in an XL, so my XXL is going to be worth more. And look at these cute little mid-century modern Christmas tree little soap dishes. 
two for a dollar. We're running out of room in the cart. The cart pile is amassing. And you know I always look in the cups, but I don't, but I don't see anything there. Marsha is checking out down there. I don't know what she's finding. And let's look at these. This is a really cute sweater throw. It is Nicole Miller. They have it at six and it's only worth about 25. So I'm going to leave it. But I knew this right away was wool. And look at this. All wool. Definitely a vintage tag. It doesn't have a price, but I think I'm going to take a chance. Now, Marsha's showing me here it does have a hole. But I think this will still sell. That's a smaller hole. We'll just point it out in our listing. All right. We found another dollar. I am a sucker for dollar clothes. <laughs> if you watch me, you know that. That was a Tommy Hilfiger button-up shirt. Marsha did go, go through this rack before me. And if you hear the coughing, Dalton just woke up and he's got his little morning cough going on. And you probably hear the fish tank running too. So if you ever hear that running water, that is my fish tank in the living room and we need to add water to it. That's what's going on. I need to make my husband add water to the fish tank if you hear it. So let's see what else we can find on this dollar rack. This has been a pretty good day so far. Look at this. L.L. Bean XXL. L.L. Bean is a great, great brand to pick up for both clothing and sportswear stuff. So make sure you watch out for L.L. Bean. Great, great brand. Both modern and vintage. Vintage pieces can be quite valuable of L.L. Beans. I don't know why I didn't get that sweater. Now, this, I think, is a North Carolina Panthers Nike dry fit for a dollar. A dollar. How do you not get it for a dollar? You have to, like, get everything for a dollar. Not really. You can see there's still a lot left on the rack. All right. I think we have picked this rack clean. Let's go see what else we can find. This basket is Peterborough. It's kind of like Longa Burger. It looks like it doesn't sell great, but it's got that rip on the side. So with that rip, I think not going to get it, but that brand doesn't look like it sells great anyways. Look, Marsha found a quilted wall throw a thing, I think. I can't even find the bottom of my buggy to push it. I, I think... <laughs> It's like under there somewhere. There's a buggy under that mass of stuff. Now, toys I am not great with. So I kind of look occasionally something might catch my eye. But most of the time, not so much. All right. We are almost done at this store. And look at this. Make sure you check out Mixer's. I forget the brand, but I am going to show you. This one's $20, and we are grabbing it. So we only have 20 minutes left. So we're going to walk over. This is their second building. 20 minutes. Let's see what we can get ourselves into in 20 minutes. All right. So they have changed things around a little bit since the last time I was here. This room here to the left used to be a dollar room. But it looks like it isn't anymore. So we're going to take a look in here though. I will tell you guys. If I had to pick two clothing sections. To pick from. It would be jackets. Like these. This is an Adidas tailor made. We're going to grab that. And t-shirts. Those would be my two go to. Jackets. Can be really really good profit. And don't pay attention to the weather where you live because if you're selling international, I promise you, it is always cold somewhere. I list jackets year round. I list swimsuits year round. It is always hot or cold somewhere. I assure you. This jacket looks really, really nice, but I don't see a brand on it. So we're going to pass it up. And I probably in the store... 
I'm going to miss some things because I am pretty rushed. I only have 20 minutes until they close. So I'm going to try and go pretty fast. And this is a decent sized store. But we're going to try. I didn't know they, they close at 4 o'clock. I was thinking they were open till 5. So altogether we only had an hour in both of the stores. Which is not very much time at all. Now that one was a Nike... It was personalized, but it was $6. The personalized ones will sell, but they typically do sell a little bit lower. Now, here's a really cool Pittsburgh Steelers jacket. This one's really, really nice. It has the little thumb holes. This is a woman, so I think we're going to get that. I am a big fan of picking up football, like fan gear. I do very, very well with it. Now... There are a lot of sweaters here and we don't have much time. So I will tell you the main thing, and I got to look through the hats. I, I always have to look through the hats. They had the hats at $5. So back to the sweaters. If you don't have much time, you can see that one was six. What I'm going to look for is vintage wool and cashmere. So I am just stepping back kind of eyeballing, looking for quality. I didn't see much. So we're going to go over to the shoes and it's really nice here. Their shoes, if they are not new, are $3. If they are, they are 5 No matter what brand, $3 or $5. These Crocs, Crocs sell very well, but these are a little worn out. So we're going to leave them. And I will tell you <laughs> after researching, I should have picked up these shoes. These are D4 and they're probably worth $60. And I put them back because I didn't know and I didn't have time to look things up. And I should have picked those up. Probably those black and white golf shoes in front of me, I should have got as well. So when you're rushed, you're going to miss some stuff, but that's okay. Now, over here on this rack, look at these. These are Dansko kind of like baby doll clogs. They're not your typical nursing shoes. And look at these on the bottom. They are pretty much brand new. And the Dansko kind of Mary Jane baby doll shoes have an amazing sell-through rate. And they sell for about $60 to $90. You can see I'm grabbing pair after pair. For three dollars so this is 60 bucks 90 bucks I'm just adding and I, I I'm trying to hold them I don't have a basket now these boots are definitely real leather these are it you can see it says leather uppers really really nice these are I think born yeah they are born boots Really, really nice. So I've already got three or four pairs of dance goes in my hand. And then I look down and there are more. Look at this. More dance goes like brand new. $3. So I, I think I have to go get a basket. My hands are completely full. And so, you know, I have to be looking while I'm going. There's Marsha coming back up and I'm like, Marsha, look at this. This is crazy. And she's like, holy crap. She said, I need a basket. I agree. I definitely need a basket. Look at all of these. This is crazy. There are just so many of them. So, I don't know, I don't know why I got the basket. Because it's already full. But, that's okay. We're going to go back. Because there are more. And this is an incredible, incredible score. I am going to show you the haul at the end of this video. But I will tell you, this trip is definitely over $1,000 in profit. Absolutely insane. So I went back right to the same rack. Look, here are more. More dance goes. We're just piling on top of the basket. I don't know if I left that tan pair there or not. Here are some more. Now, these were Mark new, so they were five. But these are patent leather, little like Mary Janes brand new and I'm showing Marsha I'm like look these say five dollars but the rest don't so I'm like I'm gonna get these just to show them that the rest are not marked 
And then there are still, there are still more down there. Absolutely crazy. Okay. Now I think, I, I think I'm going to get these boots too. Look, I have like cleared this rack and I think I can still find the handle. Maybe I'm trying. All right. We have switched to a buggy by the way. And it is almost time to leave. As I said, we only had about 15 minutes here. So I'm going to take a quick look through the shirt rack while I'm on my way up to the cash register. We do have a few more minutes. So their shirts on this side are $2 if they are not individually priced. Here is a nice Nike Golf. This one is not priced, so that one is only $2. Here is a Foot Joy, and I'm just grabbing so <laughs> i miss stuff and i might grab stuff that i shouldn't have when i'm trying to hurry because i'm in a rush and that nike golf was marked up it was at four i left it some of them only go for 15. here's a really nice columbia i made sure it wasn't priced separate so that one was also two dollars Again, the most important thing if you're going to pick up stuff to resell is that you buy low. So I want to get stuff as low as possible. So while I might pick it up at two, I might not at four. And you saw I found another Nike Golf that was not marked. I typically do very well at the store. I don't think I've done as well as I did this day though. Again, definitely over a thousand dollars in profit in one hour which is absolutely insane so this is like a thrifting dream here at the store today mainly because of those danskos but we also got the 45 dollar sweater and i am going to recap everything when we are done now let's see you see the line there so i'm like making my way to the line as i'm looking through the shirts and I'm looking at brands is what you can see me doing now here is a Kansas City Chief shirt this one's pretty faded I'm not sure why I put it back I don't know I probably should have got that considering they're in the Super Bowl next weekend but you know can't be perfect all the time all right I think we're about done with these shirts, but on the other side, there are some jackets. So we are going to check those out real quick and see what we can see before checking out. Marsha has already checked out. Now, here is the leather jackets. Most of these are really marked up and I don't have time to look anything up. So we probably won't grab any of these today. Now... Marsha is looking at these are loudmouth golf shirts. They had them at twenty dollars. They're probably worth about fifty, but I don't think they're worth picking up. So let's go ahead and take a look at everything I got. All right, so we got a ton of stuff. Look at this. Insane, probably one of the best thrift hauls I've had in a while. These I am pretty sure are gonna be either Portugal or Italy pretty sure they're Italy so we have got quite a few of those I got this cute little lacquer trinket box this one's made in India this is like cast iron the seahorse little tea light holder and then look at these two for a dollar little Christmas tree art pottery Columbia Nike golf I don't know what this is and I got something with the tag cut out so we'll have to figure it out Penn State, Izod Golf, Nike Golf, Foot Joy, Little Beach Pillows, Nike Golf, XXL. This one is Ocean Coast XXL, Pittsburgh Steelers, Tailor Made 2X. And then look at all of these Danskos. These are worth about $60 to $90 a piece, and I paid $3. They are all size 37, I believe, and pretty sure these are new and absolutely insane. $3 a pair, guys, into 60 to 90. And then I also got these really nice leather boots. I forget the brand on these. 
Oh, I forget. Oh, they're born, but they are full leather, decent condition. Those were only three as well. So this is definitely the biggest profit out of it, but we got a ton, a ton of stuff. And if you're interested in anything, shoot me an email, the nurse slipper at yahoo.com. Prissy is telling me I forgot stuff. So there's even more. Look at this, a dollar for this lizard bay gator Patagonia for a dollar guys. Patagonia for a dollar. Nike Dry Fit. L.L. Bean, if you do not know, is a great brand. Tommy, this Akma, this has almost 100% sell-through rate. I paid $20, and I think it's going to sell for about 100 Gorgeous. This one does have the wool tag. It does have a hole, but I still got it for, I think, 6 and it is pure wool. Beautiful embroidered throw pillow. I don't know what it looks like. I might have got a couple without tags in my haste in and out burger, Arizona. And that's something we had to answer a question. So, all right, I'll say it again. If you're interested in anything we got, email me, the nurse slipper at yahoo.com. The next video is going to be a church sale. So make sure you tune in, subscribe if you haven't. Share with your friends and we will see you on the next one.